The Center for Quantum Information and Control is a group of five faculty at the University of New Mexico and one at the University of Arizona, ten associate faculty at Sandia National Laboratories and Los Alamos National Laboratory, about five or six postdocs, and 30 PhD students and undergraduate researchers. We're all involved in doing quantum information science. And that means we ask how to make quantum systems do what we want instead of what comes naturally. I'm fascinated by the very idea of quantum information, namely trying to understand our physical world through informational perspective. It is still beginning for us to recognize why the laws of the quantum mechanics are so weird and different from a classical world. Cyclic is a unique place, in particular in the US, by studying this subject comprehensively beyond conventional divisions of physics. Building a large-scale quantum computer is a long-term project of humanity, since this is like realizing the quantum world in our macroscopic tangible scale. I think that CQIC is a great place to do research, both in fundamental and more practical aspects of quantum information science. It provides a great environment for interacting and collaborating with the students and researchers. And it's a place where students and postdocs can work closely with the faculty. Very small systems, such as atoms and photons, have a strange behavior, nothing like the way that large bodies like us behave. I got interested in the study of quantum information science because I wanted to understand this strange behavior. My research focuses on the study of the quantum properties of light and matter and their interaction, and how we can use these quantum properties to increase the amount of information that we can encode, process, and decode from these quantum systems. This can potentially allow us to perform tasks with capabilities beyond the capabilities of conventional technologies. The challenge in quantum information processing is to harness the really uh, strange but beautiful properties of quantum systems that only typically exist at the microscopic level. Um, and we want to bring them into the macroscopic level. My theoretical group has had a long-term collaboration with Paul Yesen's group at the University of Arizona. Um, this uh, collaboration is the kind of thing that is uh, enabled by uh, the Center for Quantum Information Control. If you are going to take on uh, hard problems in science, it's uh, essential that you can collaborate. But collaboration itself requires a lot of effort. Uh, we have to be committed to a joint project, project rather than doing what I think we scientists sometimes do best, which is work on our own pet ideas. Uh, that's why I think a successful center such as CQIC tends to be built on existing collaborations that have stood the test of time. We train students in a whole variety of subjects ranging from theoretical foundations of quantum information theory to the foundations of quantum optics and modern atomic physics. And through that training, students get to interact across the traditional boundaries. Students are involved in pretty much every aspect of uh, our control uh, project. They have built the laboratory setups, they run them on a daily basis, they add new capabilities when they're needed. And we also work really hard to try and break down the boundaries that you traditionally see between people who are doing theory and people who are doing experiments. One of the major missions of CQIC is graduate education. And graduate ed education is all about research. Um, we have strong collaborations with our students and the uh, student-mentor relationship is extremely important. CQIC has also helped my group and the group of I've in Deutsch really strengthen our ties and it has brought us into contact with new groups at the University of New Mexico and also at places like uh, Sandia and Los Alamos National Labs. The Center for Quantum Information and Control at the University of New Mexico is just down the road. We collaborate with them heavily. It's a very natural partnership. CQIC has a long history of quantum information and control science. They're well established in their top flight research center. We work with them in order to benefit from their long history of study in this subject. We provide a rigorous research environment here at Sandia where students can learn and grow in this field. 
and they can benefit from the presence of highly experienced staff here. We find that the students' research is accelerated in this environment and they're able to accomplish things and move closer to graduation in a very rapid manner. Um, one of the great pleasures of being a professor is learning from my students and when the students uh, know more about the subject than me, they're ready to graduate. I think that what we do is to work with students and postdocs passing on the experimental techniques and concepts of quantum information so they can go out in the world and make a contribution to the body of knowledge in the subject.